Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to the stack. Welcome back. If you've been here before, my name is not Nadi Nia, not Nia Nadi, Nadi Neon, not Nia Not. Thank you. Thank, th thank you, uh, the man in the back with the uh, opulence head. Welcome. Th thank you for coming back to see some more EDH slash Commander gameplay nonsense uh, from us to me, from th this channel to you today. Uh, we have more Midnight Hunt happening. The, the last video, Midnight Hunt, that was the big video, and that was another Midnight Hunt video. Um, but it's not the same. I, I, look, I'm I'm not doing multiple takes of this intro outro. Uh, you get to deal with it. Um, <laughs> but no, no, it, it, you, you, you saw the thumbnail. You saw Lind. You saw Toalar. You saw some other commanders. Did you know we had other big budget uh, production videos? That's the nonsense that I have for you today. Other than that, I had nothing special to really go off on. Like, there is something special, but it has nothing to do with Magic the Gathering. Um, and comment, com listen, comment down below if you're ready to smash. As always, this wouldn't be possible without viewers like you. If you like what you see, consider sharing this video and don't forget to subscribe. Be sure to check out our Patreon. Becoming a patron is the best way to get involved, support the channel, and get more EDH and magic content from us here at The Stack, as none of this would be possible without their support. Stick around as well as we have plans to radicalize the Patreon very soon. Another way to support us is by checking out our sponsor, Pandemonium Games and Hobbies, both on their website and their TCG Player storefront. Pick up some magic, perhaps some of the stack's unique merchandise, and it'll go a long way in supporting not only us, but the community that brought us to you. And uh, um, let me just interrupt myself for just a moment there. Pandemonium Games and Hobbies is also sponsoring this video, and they're, it, it, it's a thi it's thing, and I need, I, I want, look, they are sponsoring this video, and I want you to know, I want you to know that, listen, you can get your Midnight Hunt right now on PandoGames.com. Your sealed product, the TCG storefront will get you to their singles. You, you can get invested into the new magic nonsense right now. That's, I want, I want just a little, a little extra plug, a little extra plug. I, I'm going to put words into the radio. It's my job. I'm the word man. As for our gameplay, if you want more, don't forget to check out our streams over on MTG The Stack Rebound, both when we go live as well as our back catalog of game after game from all of our streams. Comment down below your thoughts on today's episode, and we hope you enjoy the show. All right, for today's game, we have Adrian, Neon Mushroom, shipping back his Lind Cheerful Tormentor deck from the Midnight Hunt release video. This is a Curses Matter commander that is trying to use Curses in order to put down the board, but stapled with a reanimation and draw effect relevant in order to round out the curse package. His opening hand includes a Claws of Gix, Perilous Research, Lightning Greaves, Nightscape Familiar, Belwar Stone, Island, and the Temple of Epiphany. After that, we have Guy also shipping back his Midnight Hunt commander, Tovalar Dire Overlord, an aggressively costed Werewolves Matters commander that actually brings werewolves somewhere competitive at your local EDH table. His opening hand includes a Wolf Caller's Howl, Kenrith Transformation, Mayor of Averbra, Grove of the Burn Willows, a forest, a mountain, and he mulligan away a Swiftfoot Boots. After that, we have Calvin, Trigger, rocking Furja, Judge of Valor from the Kaldheim release gameplay video. This is also a white black angel that cares about the graveyard, but instead of abusing our creatures more, we are trying to spell sling deeper into our library. His opening hand includes a Price of Fame, Sir Conrad the Grim, Component Pouch, a Swamp, a Swamp, a Plains, and then he mulliganed a Swamp to the bottom of his library. And finally, Aiden is rocking Lateral Blade of the Elves, who is a commander that is trying, and hear me out, to put down a lot of elves. His opening hand includes the Enray's Forerunners, Stoneforge Masterwork, Heritage Druid, Elvis Vanguard, Path of Ancestry, a Forest, and a Forest. 
I'm not sure how involved the intro was, but we're playing two commanders from the game we just uploaded. Thank you for 20 million views so much. If we can get this video to six likes, we will, uh, we'll make another video. But today we're running a couple commanders from the last game, and then a couple commanders from previous budget game in Caldheim. And, uh, and we're gonna see who can do the do. Did you notice we clickbaited the last video? Click. Bait. Did that you know that clickbaiting video. works? One, two, three, flip. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck <it, man>. Yeah, <laughs> that just makes sense. Aiden's first. Anyone surprised? All right, draw for turn. I'm gonna play Path of Ancestry tapped and pass the turn. Sick. Tap lands all around. I'm gonna draw and play Don't At Me Pleasant Kenobi. Uh, this is like the fourth time I said Don't At Me Pleasant Kenobi on a video, which means I so want Vince to just so bad. Temple of Epiphany. You're not supposed to play these. Scry one, and I'm gonna put this on the bottom and pass. You want him to at you so hard. Oh my god. I just want him to do something so hard. I'll play. You want him to at your uh, cum gutters. My cum gutters. Oh my god. That sounds gross. I'll play Groove of the Cum Gutters. <laughs> and I'll pass. Wow. Oh, I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. That says burn willows. I, something else was on my mind. <laughs> Outstanding. I'm gonna play a basic swamp and pass a turn. On tap, upkeep, draw. No way. Nice. All right, we're gonna play a forest. It's not Gaia's Cradle. Tap two. We're gonna play Elvish Vanguard. Oh, hell yeah. Scrizzle. Uh, yeah, we'll keep that on top. Good. Pass. Okay, what did you draw that made you go hell yeah? That's you not know. a land either. A basic land. You know. We're gonna go with an island, and we'll play a Felwar Stone. And um, after that, we will just pass the turn. I'll draw for turn. Holy shit. I'll play a forest, and uh, we'll tap that. To cast Mayor of Aberbrook. Oh, hell yeah. Probably what Iden's gonna look like in like 15, 20 years. Nah, dude, I, I was, I've oh. been saying for years that's you. Are you telling me we have to like actually get the art up on You're screen? already there. Sorry, Calvin. All right, cool. <laughs> <laughs> pass. Draw. Uh, I'm gonna play a basic swamp and then pass. On tap. At your upkeep. Uh oh. Mayor's gonna flip. He's gotta, Mayor's gotta dip out. He's bringing in his buddy, um, Mayor of Dogtown. It's the dog. All right, all right. Uh, draw. Hold up. Woof woof. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> draw for turn. I'm letting the dogs out. <laughs> no, nope. Uh, we're gonna play Forest. Tap Path of Ancestry. Play Heritage Druid. Ooh. Scrya. And this Keep is on Elvish Vanguard, right? So... <laughs> Go to combat. Yeah. That's it, a 3-3 three, three now. A three, three. I can't come into your town, though. You can't no. come into town. Someone reminded you. <laughs> I can't come into your town. Yeah, we don't talk about the video. We edit it out. It doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. Uh, go, we're gonna attack Frigia for two. Yeah. Okay. Fuck you, Calvin. Anything else? Yeah. Yeah. You're Tap it. Forest. Play Stoneforge Masterwork. Oh man, I budgeted for that card. Good to Pass. go. Yes. All right. Draw the land. Your, game's easy. At your upkeep, this flips yep, back. Flips. He cast two spells. So I did draw the land because this game is very easy. Here's a Nightscape familiar. Because it wasn't my opener. By the way, I have Nightscape Familiar so much, you would assume that I have six copies, but Guy shuffled my deck for this video. And he also received $20 for putting Nightscape in the top seven cards. I'm going to play Lightning Greaves, put him on Nightscape, and pass the turn. Untap, upkeep, draw. We will play a Mountain. Mountain. And then we will do the do. We're going to tap three and cast Tobalar. Hey. And then I'm going to enter combat. And then Calvin, you're exposed. I'm going to try and touch you with my 1-1. One, one. You know, you're gonna hit me with that 1-1. One, one. But also, price of fame. What's that do? It costs two less if I target a legendary creature. Uh, I destroy target creature. That's and I surveil too. That's pretty good. You're gonna take one. <laughs> get him. <laughs> you gotta get him. Get him while the getting's good. That hurt. I'm gonna put both these cards into my graveyard. Oh, you're so fucking smart right now. That's a fucking... <laughs> don't worry about it. I don't, I don't have anything else. I took the one? Yeah. Cool. This is some bullshit. It'll be fine. Guys, help me out. <laughs> yeah, on tap. I got a snarl. Snarl. It shines shench and snarl. You want to reveal a card? I'm going to reveal planes. Oh man, that's a, a combo. combo. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, nice interaction. Uh, but then I'm going to play component pouch. Yeah. Nice. Hey, what's this fucking card do? It's like, hold on, teaching time. Calvin doesn't edit. Sorry, Calvin. I'll do the edit. It's just going to be like MS Paint, Big D20. Redrop artifact, remove component counter from, remove a component counter from the pouch to add two mana of different colors. You can tap it to roll a D20. If it's 1 through 9, it gets 1 counter, and if it's 10 through 20, it gets 2 counters. Wow. So, like, 3 mana rocks uh, generally are bad, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, this one gets but then, you know, we're in budget, so 3 mana rocks are a little better. What's nice about this, while you can't, like, play it and then play something else the same turn, you weren't going to do it with 3 mana rocks anyways, but you do go from 3 to 6. Mm -hmm. so. That's very true. 
I'm, I'm just now re realizing how bad my position is at this table. Yeah. Because Calvin always... You get one. Calvin always wants to cast two spells during his turn. <laughs> like, most decks want to do that, but his deck wants to do that more than others. It's stinky. Alright. On tap. Upkeep. Draw. Uh, we're going to play Tainted Wood. I'm going to tap four. Play oh, Lathril. No. Yeah. Don't forget to scry. Scrizzle. That. Yeah. No. Sleeve. I'm going to point out that someone has an Angel of Glory's Rise in the graveyard. Oh, that is an Angel of You know, for no reason. I'm not, there's not a reason I'm pointing this out. It's just like a thing I wanted to point out for fun. Jesus. I'm going so fucking slow right now, man. Don't is you it just have to like reanimate? You need a sack outlet and a payoff. You do need a sack outlet and a... Remember this point in the game. Everyone remember this conversation. <laughs> Every, you at home viewing this, eating your popcorn, your phone's in your left hand, right? Um, remember this moment. You are open, though. I mean, so is Guy. Guy is open. I can enter his town. Like, you can enter... But he's kind of far behind. Remember this. Right. Uh... Tickle both of us. Bring him down with the three. Hit me with the one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hit him with the bigger one. Fucking uh... remember this. <laughs> That's going to come at Calvin. This is going to come at you. Yeah, that all happens. Anything else? Nope. That's it. Magic. The Gathering. Game's easy. Um, we will do... Is it Signet? Is it a Signet? It, it is. And I have to tap, like, that for it, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll do an it Signet and Lind, Cheerful Tormentor. And we'll put the Greaves on Lind. Yeah. We've, we've entered the state of the day. Anyway, I don't trust Calvin. Uh, three, Calvin. Okay. <laughs> I've, I've been here before. I've seen the Angel of Warriors rise in the graveyard past turn. Untap, upkeep, draw. We will tap this forest for a wolf bitten captive. I'm going to tap two. Uh, everyone's going to gain a life. Because nice. of the burn wills. I'm going to put Kenner's transformation on your lap. Oh, oh my oh, god. Ooh, right ooh, there. Big I'm going to draw Kenny. a card. Watch Kenny this. G is going to play a sax solo on your ass. Oh. <laughs> it was worth it, baby. Pass. Wow. God, you're fucking good at magic, bro. I'm so good at this game. No. Wait, here's that basic points. Um, it's a basic pain in my ass. Then I think what I'm going to do. I'm going to attack you, you bitch. I need a card draw. I'm Beep. not going to hit his lightscape. <laughs> Are you out of your mind? What? It's good <laughs> enough in your deck. I'm gonna play Arcane Signet. <laughs> yeah, that resolves. That's a fucking death roll, bro. That's probably the best card out of the 400 cards at this table. No. Just raw, raw card quality. Renegade Reaper. Yeah. What's up, dude? I'm gonna mill four cards. If one's an angel, I gain four life. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, a 2 yeah. 3 flyer. We're done. Hey guys, let's play two decks from the big game and two decks from not the big game. Calvin plays angels. <laughs> okay, actual fun facts. I decided I need to. Do something to Ferja to make is it, it a three or four life. Four. Four. This is a new change to Ferja. It is a new change to Ferja. There's now. Hey, attack! Gold. Attack him for him for one and him for three and me for one. Roll. Roll. <laughs> that's not. That's not on the camera. Fuck man. you. That's, uh, no, fuck you. No, that's no. Not on the camera. Th this that's, camera can see it. Mine can't. This one can. I can cut to it. It can see it. It can see the edge of it. It can see the edge. Ah, that's a two man, and I'm not gonna let you fool, fool our viewers. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that's. <laughs> That's about as deep as I'm gonna go into arguing. <laughs> oh wait, I'm just bigger than you. Like, right? But like, pass the turn. <laughs> there we go. You know what? Let's meet in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Seven. I got, we got. Untap. Upkeep. Draw. We want to tap three. That's four. Four. Five. Six. How are you tapping for six? Convoke. 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 Court of calling. Uh oh. For three. For three. That's yeah. yeah that's pretty bad. Is it time to reclaim? It's Reclamation reclaim. Sage. Here you go, guy. Three. Two. Two, yes. Sorry, it's five. Two. Trigger Wathful. Make two whales. Wow. Cool. Anything else? Go ahead. On tap. Upkeep. Draw land. Oh my god. Land for turn. Um, okay, here's how we're going to do this turn. We're going to play the best card in my deck, probably. Claws of Gix. It's a pretty good one. I read in the book that it was a good one. We'll tap for three, and we're going to play Curse of Leeches. Ooh, who you target? Um, well, yeah, when it, when it comes into play, I'm just going to do this first. I start. I started it, not you. Mind your business, Tolalar. Uh, technically, I did start it. He just died instantly. Oh, so the dude, it's been day and night. Well, yeah. we yeah. didn't do it, so I'm doing it. Yeah. Um, but Curse of Leeches is going to come into play, and it's going to enchant a player. It, it, guy, I'm going to... I'm going to hit you with Curse of Leeches. Why not? I, I think it doesn't matter very much because of what I'm going to do with the Curse of Leeches. Um, after that, I think I will just pass the turn. Untap. Upkeep. Draw. Oh, boy, we found the forest. Untap. By the way, you lost a life and you gained a life. It's true. It's true. It's true. Thank you. Here's five mana, and here's Tobolar. It's Bobolar. That's Bibu. 
And then, see how big is Lathlo? Lathlo is a 2 3. It's going to be too fucking big no matter what. Um, so we will. That's a 2 4. That's a 1 1 when we generate. And that's a 3 2. 2 3. 2 3. Shit. I mean, you could throw both of your guys at me. I block one, kill one, but uh, you still get two damage in and draw a card. This might have been a bad play. I mean, looking at the board state. Um, you're late to the party. I'm fucking late to the party. It's the price of fame, man. Price of fame. Cut. No, hold on. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> I want to make it through today. <laughs> you gotta cut that shit out right now. <laughs> Dude, I, I gotta pass. Bitch up here with puns and shit. Uh-uh. No, no, no. Fuck you, So dude. I untapped. Yeah, you do. You do that. We're gonna play the basic swamp. Yeah. We're gonna tap this now to add our white and our black to our mana pool. Yeah. Okay? ba ba ba, ba. And look at this! I found a spell that can cast immediately after the Furja. Is Viscera Seer. Viscera Seer. Beep Oh. Cast trigger. This is on the stack, technically. I'm gonna look at the top three cards in my library. Yeah, I guess we'll put these into my graveyard and add this to my hand. That tracks. And then, then play. Cool. And then, Menace, pass the turn. End of your turn. Yeah. This is end of your second main phase. Yeah. For what it's worth. Um, I'm gonna tap for one, and I'm gonna cast Peerless Research for its reduced cost. I'm gonna nice. sacrifice Curse of Leeches, which delayed Lynn trigger, and I'm gonna draw two cards. One. Two. Um, and then I will also tap for two, which is also being reduced by Night's Get Familiar, and I'm going to Chaos Warp Lath Roll. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. He's rezoned. You like how I cast five mana worth of spells for three? Uh, I, That's uh, just Night's Get Familiar, baby. I, I did not like that, actually. Ah. You get an Elves of deep, deep, deep Shallow. Cool. A Shallow Elf. And then we can move to Calvin's end step. Curse of Leeches will re-enter play under my control and on Chanted. On Chanted. Unchanted. On me. Oh, he needs What's to happening? get one bigger, because that's an Elf. It is. Did he get bigger off this one too? I don't remember. Is it whenever another elf? Oh my god! So he, he's got. Oh, this dude's like this oh, yeah, big. This right guy's huge. Guy Jack. Because like it's for every elf. That's one, two, three, four, five, yeah. six. That dude's got. He's a seven, seven. Oh boy. Draw. I feel like we might be in a lot of fucking danger. I feel like we might be fucking fucking danger. Tap three. Yep, yep, yep. Play Elvish Arshrid. Man, yeah. this guy's gonna get bigger. Oh god. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Wow. Yo, it's time to cast that Genesis wave, my guy. <laughs> I lose one. Fuck yeah, he's back at 40. Get him while he's weak. Equip. Stoneforge to. Does it give it trample? No. No. That's a shame. Otherwise, he could be like. <laughs> yeah, right. We'll equip it to Reclamation Sage. That yeah. makes sense. Why not? Why not? What? It'd be weirder if he didn't. God, look at this. I just wanna take a moment mid game. Just like draw attention to Aiden's board. Aiden's probably one of the more posh vein people in this group. But when it comes to inventory management, God, he's just he 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 he's a, he's got he's a bunk mate with the garbage monster from uh, Sesame, Sesame, Street. Sesame Street. Yeah. A long time ago, someone made a comment about how Aiden like taps his mana the opposite way of his creatures. Yeah. And yeah. I watched it happen in real time. Just somehow he picked it up. <laughs> yeah. I just wow. He played Jund in Modern. That's par for the course for those guys. <laughs> All right, Calvin. Oh no. Oh boy. Coming in. Yeet, yeet, skeet, delete. Get it to the price, price of fame! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right, so the, so I'll end up taking eight. Renegade Reaper will put up on the Elvish Vanguard and before damage back to the Seer 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 one. But you do take eight? I'll, I will take eight. This should be nine as well. Oh, you're taking nine, nine anyway. Oh. Yeah. Okay. They're both nine. Sorry, it was 18 damage. Oops. Well, I'm going to keep that on top, I guess. Good to go, Aiden. Uh, that's it. Go. Calvin, do you have any actions? No. I'm gonna untap, upkeep, trigger Lind. Aiden, why don't you just take this? Sure. Um, I'm gonna draw two cards off of Lind. One, two. Technically, I gained a life and lost a life. And then I will draw my card for turn. Uh, I'm gonna tap two. I'm gonna combat main phase two. I'm gonna tap two and cast Talisman of Indulgence. Then I'm going to tap for two, like so. And I'm going to cast Curse of the Nightly Hunt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to enchant Calvin yep. with Ooh. Curse of the Nightly Hunt. Then I'm gonna tap for two more and I'm going to play Arcane Laboratory. Each player cannot play more than one spell each turn. Oh. Yeah, we're gonna do that. I think I like that. Um, after that, I'm just gonna pass the turn. Untap, upkeep, it's nighttime. I gotta do... Oh, Tovalar's forcing the issue. Yes. So, because of that, Curse of Leeches is now Nightbound, so I have a 4-4 four, four Lifelinker here. How many cards does everyone have in their hands? I hate this fucking question. I have two. <laughs> two, two, four. four. So I'm gonna enter combat, and looking at the board, I think, I can only attack Calvin. I could try and push this at Adrian and pump it, but that just seems like a bad use of my mana. Calvin, here is a 5-5. Five five. How about this? I'll only hit you with a 2-2 two two if you let me draw the card. I'm oh, sorry, it's a 3-3. Three three. Okay. He takes it. Three. Yep. 
Take six? Three. Or I have to attack. Oh, you... He put this on me so that you kill me in your next turn. Yeah, I put that on him so you can just have do whatever you want. I, huh. I did this for you. This is I'm gonna kill two people. This is gonna trigger total, total arm. I'm gonna draw a card. <gasps> That's a you can't kill me. Really good one. Who says me? Here's five mana again. We're gonna cast Sage of Ancient Lore. Hell yeah! It's gonna trigger. I'm gonna draw a card when it enters the battlefield. And um, its power toughness is equal to cards in my hand, so that's six, and it gets game bumped over here for seven. I'm gonna move to my end step. This is gonna trigger Howl Pack Alpha. I'm gonna make a 2 2 wolf. What a good day for you. It, I feel it's it's nice. Time. And I'm all done. Untap, upkeep, draw. Like, I only had like a value play, but it relied on casting two spells, which is the thing Ferger wants to do. Oh, baby. So, pick up your Arcane Labs for like $2 a piece. These, this card's bulk. Did you guys know that? Just bulk. Um, I'm going to enter combat. The Ferger is coming at Adrian. One, two. And you gain two off that, right? Yeah, I'll gain two off yep. it. And then the Theris here will come at Guy, I guess. I'll take one. Oh no, they've got a symbiotic relationship. You are very kind, sir. Anyway, here's my fucking combo. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he has it. Add a white and a black my mana pool. And here's the other white I'll need for this spell. But here is Valkyrie Harbinger. Oh, what is Valkyrie? Is that a tutor? No. Flying lifelink 4-5. To gain each end step, if I gain 4 life this turn, make a 4-4. Four, four. Okay. Flyer. And I will pass. At the end of your second main phase, I will gain a life and sacrifice Curse of Leeches. Or Curse of the Nightly Hunt. Does mm -hmm. the switch today have you how many spells you play? I only cast one spell because huh. I can only cast one spell. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then at end step. That's, that's I'm nice. cursed. Oh no. Oh no. I am you're up. I'm glad it has a, right. a very good home. Yeah. Untap, upkeep, draw, play Exotic Orchard. He wants to cast his whole hand, but you can only have one. Uh, one is all I need, baby. Here's my Genesis Wave, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, if you have Genesis Wave, just do it to us. One, two, We're all three. tapped out. He has so much fucking money. Oh, he's doing trigonometry right now, guys. Trigonometry. He's gonna baby. unleash the big How stink. Seven. One, seven. So you have seven, eight, ten. Just from your creatures. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 total. 15 minutes. He's gonna unleash the big stink, bro. I hope so. I can He's gonna it. open my button, pooping it! <laughs> so like Holy shit. Oh my god, right? That's 15? Yeah, so that's 15. What the, Genesis yeah. Wave. He's it. casting it. He's got Genesis Wave. There he <laughs> is. <laughs> Fuck that, yeah, dude. Fuck yeah. yeah. Alright, I'm. So, revealed X cards of your library were X15. You put any number of permanent cards, you'll see them be X or less for 12 total. Yeah. So, here, I, you mind if I do this with you? Just because. Yeah. yeah, go ahead. I think this is the best Genesis wave this deck's ever done, and you're doing it, and I built it, so I'm jealous. <laughs> and it is permanent, so you're getting these lands. So, that's three for three, four for four, five for five. Uh, uh, you lose this. It's all coming to play, Aiden. A lot of lands, but, you know. Yeah, but <laughs> I think you'd be alright. <laughs> You sure you uh, count up the elves for your uh, vanguard? Yeah. Jesus fuck. Go to combat. Yeah, man, I'm gonna block. I'm gonna block. I'm gonna block. Oh, Jesus. Holy With shit. With great power comes great responsibility. It's gonna be a split. This at you, that at you. Wow, I'm gonna block and gain four life. Do it. One, two, three, four. <laughs> That's that's mine. How big is that? I one? don't think this leaves play as an a curse, so I don't think Lynn's gonna trigger. No, she does not. What does it say on the other side? Does it just say creature? It just says creature and uh, nightbound. Uh, so this is a twelve base and then uh, plus it one. Has so eleven counters and then so it's a thirteen thirteen. Thirteen thirteen. Great. It's in that miracle. It really concerns me that Calvin's considering considering taking it. Yeah, like, exactly. I need this angel for something. This angel's yeah. worth half my life. I, I I can't start getting blockers unless she lives. That makes sense. Like that? It, yeah, 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 yeah. Mind you, he has a Skemfar Elder Hall as well now. No, I'm just going to take the 13. Nice. I, I believe you're done. Yeah. All right. I mean, that just means they die faster, so... All right. On my upkeep, I have a Curse of the Nightly Hunt trigger. Well, not this trigger, but the Lin trigger itself. So I'm going to gift this to Guy. I'm going to draw two, and then I'm going to draw for turn. All right, so let's see if we can't string this together. We'll play a Haunted Ridge, and then we are going to play Shadow's Verdict. Oh. Ooh. No. So, exile. Exile. All creatures and planeswalkers with CMC three or less from the battlefield, and all creature and planeswalker cards with converted mana cost three or less from all graveyards. Well, wow. damn. Neat. Um, you're telling me I should have killed you this whole time? Probably. Oh, wow. Uh, the Cersei is going to be exiled no matter what, yeah. but I still get to, in response, sack it in Correct. order to describe it. Correct. Yeah, I think, guys, I think that's all I got. I will just pass the turn. Unset. Upkeep. Draw. So you can still only cast one spell a turn. I, I want you to take seven. Sure. Yay! 33. 33. Wow. And then, second main phase. Yeah, oh yeah. We will tap four for, uh, you guessed it, Huntmaster of the Fells. Oh no. I'll make a 2-2 two -two and gain two life. That's pretty stinky. 
talking shit about Junt, pass. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to, for my one spell, I would like to play Priest of Felrites. Priest of Felrites is a hell of a good spell. <gasps> and then I'm going to enter combat. Oh, yeah. And I am knocking on Adrian's front door. For what? Uh, four. Four. I'll take four. One, two, three, four. I'm going to gain four. One, two, three, four. Hey, I'm going to move to my end step. Yeah, absolutely. I cast a spell, so no flip, but I get a four, four. Seems good. Then I'm going to pass the turn. All right. Untap. Upkeep. Draw. Play our swamp. Play Andre's far right. No, no. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. <laughs> Y'all would have been done. You have it? Oh, yeah, we would have died. Tap five. Play Eye Blight Collectors. And it is. It makes elf, right? Yeah, when it dies. Uh, scry one. Scry bottom. Equip it. And can I kill anything right now? Priest of Felrace. Or priest. Yeah. I think it's probably my hunt master. It's. It could be the hunt master. Yeah. Mice. Well, he uh, only deals two. I'll, all right, we'll do hunt master. Take out the hunt master. Yeah, black, black, green. Ooh, I might not have enough actually. Hold on. Hmm? Black, black. Oh yeah, no, you're you're short on mana. Yep. Never mind. Is he? My bad. Yeah, he is. It, it costs six and it to activate. Yeah, I no, it was... I, I'm looking at five right now. Oh, is it? No, you, you should be good then if you have five. Yeah, it, it costs five as well as tapping in. Oh, here's five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Black, black, green. Six, there we go. And you get two L's if you have an elf. If you have an elf, how does that thing work? You just no, get you two L's. You just get it. Just work. Yeah. It just yeah. works. Anything else, Aiden? No, nope, that'll do. At the end of your second main phase, clearly I'm going to gain a life and sacrifice this curse of the nightly hunt. It's enchanting me. Well, maybe I guess it's too late now, but it probably should have been the priest because he can sack that to bring back Angel of Glory's Rise, which right. brings back the priest, and then right. he's got the. Adventure. He could have unearthed there. that next turn, though. Right, but when it's unearthed, does it, does it get exiled? Um, as far as the reminder types, as I can tell from it, um, when you unearth it, exiles the creature. Yeah. Yes, yeah, and it's technically true, but so you only get one use out of it. Yeah, instead of three. But that also cost me to stack it is that many times to cost me that much life. When this is probably going to die at some point, I assume it. I assume it needs to. Um, anyway, passing. Yeah, I'm passing. I did the thing. I have my curse. I'm on tapping, and then oh. Lath, not lateral, to the other lateral, then is here. That's for you. We... I'll draw two cards. One, two. Then I'll draw for turn. I'm going to go with a Dragon Skull Summit as my land for turn. Then I'm going to tap for two, and I'm going to suspend Profane Tutor. That's not a spell. Um, we're going to tap for three, and then I'm going to cast Parasitic Impetus. Parasitic. Calvin's already forced into attacking, which tells me that I'd like it if... I'm going to put it right here. Yeah. That's where that goes. And then I believe I'm out of spells, so I'm just going to pass the turn. Untap. Upkeep drop. Hey, we found a land. Land. Calvin. Hi. It's going to be you. Okay. Let's keep those four fours in check. How much is that? It's going to be uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight. You have eight. And I'm block. Gonna, I'm going to gain two, and do you lose two? Yeah. Yeah, you lose two. I'm going to block with Frasia. Okay. So I won't take damage until I gain two life. I'm going to... Pass the turn. Uh, on your end step, I'm, I get to tap this to roll a die. You gotta roll the d20, boy. I gotta. I just gotta, gotta do it. You gotta do it. Bad news. It, I mean, it's fine. It's still good. Like, it's at a minimum, it gets you the same amount of mana. Yeah. True. Does it split? Yeah. Sweet. On tap, up, keep drawing. What I want to do here is I want to play the basic swamp for turn. Yes, I'm drawing lands, man. I'm right? <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to crack this. One, two, three. I'm targeting Radiant Solar. Yeah, I'm sure that's fine. And it's just a battlefield. Um, I get to do dungeon-y stuff. Yeah. And so now we got DNA and dungeon. Yeah. We've got Great. some Kaldheim stuff. We've got some Midnight Hunt stuff. We've got some Strixhaven stuff. And no, we don't have Strixhaven stuff. We have D&D &D stuff. D &D stuff. Look at us. We're going to go Dungeon of the Mad Mage. Yeah. yeah. Gain of life? Yeah, gain of life. I still got my one spell. He still gets a spell, boys. I think Unearth doesn't, doesn't cast a spell either. It's not. <laughs> I was like, no, it's not. But not even close. The thing I want to do, like, there's no reason for me to unearth right now. I uh, went and said I could play Soren Vengeful Bloodborne. Yeah, oh yeah, big time. Yeah. Does that give your guys lifelink? It does. And then minus two. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Trigger. Yeah. I go down the dungeon and I'm gonna scry one. <laughs> I'll keep that on top, I guess. <laughs> these two can't attack, uh, but these two have to. Oh, hey, Adrian. What's up, dude? Knock, What's knock. knock. Mm. How much? Eight. Eight. Yep. Does the have vigilance. vigilance? There's vigilance. And you gain one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I will move to my end step. That's fine. It's time. Non token? Non token. I can't get through that. It seems like a you problem. Nah, man. Someone came and cleaned up my board. It's not cool. Some cool things going on. <laughs> Ask you were. I'm sorry. Are you menace. sorry? No. <laughs> no, you shouldn't. You were a menace, man. That was a like Genesis <laughs> for 12. I, I had M rays of Forerunners in my hand, so. Okay, one spell, one shot, one opportunity. Do not miss the spaghetti. God, fuck you for exiling everything. I'm not fucking sorry. 
I know you ain't. I guess we'll play Lathril for what it's worth. That tracks. Boop. Be doop. Do I scry off playing him? Or... Yeah. Okay, Scrizzle. No, stop. Stop with the lance. Hey, I'm gonna attack. I'd like to attack Calvin, but that doesn't seem like a good idea. I don't think you can. I don't think you can attack Calvin. Yeah. Probably just attack Adrian. Boop. How much? Six? Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Anything else? No. End of your second main phase. Same hat. Same trick. I'll take this. And then end step, that happens. Untap. Upkeep, I have two things happening. A time counter is removed from Profane Romaine. And then I'm gonna gift Curse of the Nightly Hunt to Guy. And then I'm gonna draw two cards when I do that. One, two, and I'll draw for turn. I'm gonna go to combat. Beep beep. Guy, two. Block. Kill it. Main phase two. I have a spell I can cast. I'm gonna tap for red, red, blue, uh, whatever. Uh, I guess we'll use this is it signet. Leaving these five up, and I'm going to cast chain reaction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, eleven. So your dude lives. Yeah. Cool, cool. I'm good with that. Everything else, I believe, dies. Yes. Cool. I'm gonna rezone my uh, my Lind cheerful tormentor. I'm gonna get three one ones. After that, I would just pass the turn. On tap, draw. We will play this forest and. Um, we will tap for seven to get our buddy out. Tobalar. Buddy hits the buddy. We will enter combat. Tobalar flips. Yeah, it does just, it is night. It just enters in night. It I just enters as night yeah, version. That's hot. There he is. Honk. Adrian, I'm gonna attack you. You can't. You can't. Oh, that's right, it's goaded. <laughs> I think I didn't think this through, man. I don't think about things. All right, I, 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 want, I want you to have some. Me, are you sure? I'll gain two, you lose two. Yeah, so one, two, three, four, five, six. It is trample, seven, yeah. Seven, yeah. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15. 15. Vigilance. I don't think trample. I want to take 15. It has trample. Yeah. Ew. Uh, tap command tower. That's putrefy. Damn. Dead. It's dead. Yeah. Um, in response to the Putrefy, for what it's worth, I'll sacrifice Impetus and gain a life. Well, all right. <laughs> um, I'm done. Hey! Wee! Big one, big rolls, big rolls. Nope, three. Okay, it's fine. There you go. All right, on tap. And draw. Value Town! There it is. <laughs> How to correct quite On Earth. On Earth? Yeah. yeah. I don't see why not. And then... You got it. Nice. Nice cop. Here's a Radiant Solar. That happens. And then it's gonna do the thing, it's gonna be a treasure token. You know what that treasure token means? Hmm. One, two, three, four, five. Oh boy. That was my, oh, there it was. Nice. There was my fifth mana. I'm gonna play Sir Gwyn, or Sir Conrad the Grim. Oh. oh. Sir Conrad the Gwyn. That's, yeah. yeah, that's fine. Yeah, now I get to go to Scry 2. Scry 2 is good. Beep. Ha ha. Hee hee. Oh. I'll put one on bottom and one on top, I guess. And then, because of that fucking spell, there's nothing to reanimate. Wee. But I'm gonna ping Adrian for one. Yeah, I took one, you gave one? Yep. Mm. And then I'm gonna pass the turn. Maybe your turn, I'll terminate. Okay. Go to my turn. Yep. On tab. Does he trigger himself? Nope. Terminate like this, though. Draw. Just run out that laugh roll again. That's what I'm thinking. It's gonna be eight manas. Lath. Lath, Lath resolves. Scry. Scrizzle. Bottom. Is it time to equip? Yeah. yeah. We're gonna equip. The equip's good. To one else. So it's gonna be combat, attack, two for four. One, two, three, four. And then main phase two, re equip. Respond. Re sculpt. Ah. Re sculpt. Yeah, right? Yep. I'll make a four, four. I'm gonna untap, upkeep, and this is gonna be my spell for turn, I guess, because it does force cast. I'm gonna cast Profane Tutor. So I'm gonna get this card Curse of Misfortunes. It's surveillance, but. It's surveillance. You all seem like a few lads who would like to cast some spells, am I right? Mm. Iden. Oh yeah. You seem like a guy who'd like to do that. I'm, 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 love I'm gonna sack Arcane Lab and gain a life. Woo! I get oh, it. Shit. Now he can cast spells. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm going to tap for five, leaving up specifically this mana. I'll tap for five. And guy. Uh oh. You oh. seem like a guy who would enjoy having a curse of surveillance on him. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, that makes sense. Cool. Yep. And then I will pass the turn, and it's gonna flip. To daytime. Untap, upkeep, flip, flip. Curse, I'll draw some. <laughs> um, so we can cast spells now. Casting spells is good. Casting spells is good. You don't want to cast spells. Um, you want we're to transform. Probably just gonna <clears throat> enter combat first. Yeah. And we're, we're gonna touch Adrian for three. I'm gonna tap for three. It's got three power. Yeah, it's just three. I'm gonna go down to 11, cause I'm a risky boy. Ooh. I'm Ooh. gonna try to break the board. Ooh. Wow. I, I have no responses. No response. I, no, no response. Everything's dead. Yeah. 
So that was the third time, I believe. So now it costs nine. That's the price of fame. <laughs> oh my God, God. <laughs> you can't nice. do you can't do that back to me. I did it he to you because you did it to me. I'm gonna tap one for uh, a wild growth. I'm gonna put it on this mountain. Now I've got a taiga. How's it feel? And you can cast more spells. And it can cast more spells. We'll go uh, three for a rot wolf and four for instigator game. Hey, fuck yeah, dude. I'll fuck pass. yeah, bro. Tell him to be like, bro. bruh, 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 win the game, bruh. So no matter what, we get to, uh, we, we have to tick this up to paying Adrian. Um, a little dink. A little flick. A little flicker of the flack. Flick of the dick. Um, and then we'll, you know, for the white and the black. And the white and the black. And then the black. black. But the commander the tags. Commander tags. Furja back. Furja. Uh, we're gonna cast Ephemerate. Wait, targeting the Furja? Wait, the Furja? Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, oh. Cast Ephemerate, target okay. Furja. Um, Furja does the thing first. One, two, three. <laughs> okay. I, I will put this in my hand and these into the graveyard. Yep. And then I'll okay. put that there for rezone stuff. We'll yep. play a land for turn. Anything else? Uh, no pass. I'm, you're fucking unlocked. On tap. I'm you so unlocked. Unlocked. Any more board wipes out here? I think <laughs> I used every one in my deck, actually. Good. Oh, Grixis Lord. has access to some really good board wipes and budget. Right, so he still has Curse of Death. Eight. I, he's not lying. Lathral? Eight. Ten. Ten for yeah. Lathral? Yeah. A Quiver? And then a double spell. Oh, boy. Double spell, y'all. Lightning Grease. <laughs> I wish. Line or else. Yeah, you got it. Pass. On tap. Pass Upkeep. the turn. Draw. No. Um, Did you get there? Get there. Do you think my deck wins? That, that, that my game plan stops there. I didn't think any further about it. Um, I'm gonna tap for three, and I'm gonna cast Mirror Maid, copy and curse the surveillance on guy. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh god, um, <laughs> he's gonna get there. Right. Uh, I'll tap three. One of those is black, right? Yep. I'll attach Curse of Shallow Graves to guy. What's that do? Uh, whenever a player attacks you, we both get two twos. Shit. Yo. And then I'm gonna put Shiny Impetus on Rotwolf. On put it on Rotwolf. <laughs> <On> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, past turn. Untap. Holy shit, you're upkeep. Holy shit, here it comes. Um, you draw a lot of cards. That many. <laughs> wow. Yeah, cool. okay. that's good. Someone needs to kill me. No, I yeah. think I think you were actually supposed to put this in Instigator Gang, because now I can't attack you with this. If this is over here, then you when you make it- Oh, you're right. Yeah, we're yeah. doing that. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know it's hilarious that-, that or, Oh, I have more I have more board wipes. Put Plasma Sack in this deck. <laughs> no. Kill this man. Right, yeah, I'll, no, it's time to kill me. I'll this move, is bad. I'll, I'll move to my draw step. Um, Jesus. I released the big nut boys. <laughs> biggest nuttus. We're going to start off by just going straight into combat. Fuck yeah, dude. Adrian, I would like to attack you with this uh, five. You, you can't. can't. It's a shiny impetus. Oh, it's goaded. It. Shit. Goaded. I hate it. I forget that it's goaded. You just talked me into putting it on the better target, remember? Yeah, because <laughs> I'm a good boy. You have the cheat counter this time. Hey, hey, no, I had, a, I had a grace counter because I, I fixed your play for you. It, it cancels out. Thanks, Daddy. Um, so we are going to combat. We do have to attack. I'm, I'm going to throw this 3-2 uh, infect creature at you. Uh, yeah. Calvin, I'm going to throw this 5-5. Uh, Get that sworn. 5. At Make him block. No, I like the Soren right where it's at. Are you sure about that? Yeah, it's, it's pinging you for one every turn. That, but now it can minus. Oh, is it, oh, it's minus X? It's minus X, It bitch. is minus X, yeah. We'll go for the Soren. Yeah. Either way, I can't block. I'm not going to block because I want to do... Spirit, yeah. Yeah. Sweet. All right, second main phase. Okay. I think we're just going to play Port Razor. Port Razor? Oh, God. Just It's just Port Razor. What's a port razor? It's good. You're about to find out. Uh, so here's five mana. Are her ports being raised? Um, so port razor is a oh, very fun yeah. uh, red budget card. It is a 4 4 4 pirate, and when it deals combat to a player, untap each creature you control after this combat phase or the initial combat phase. And it can't attack a player who has already attacked this turn. Oh, I get it. Yeah, it, it does it. It just does it. And then for our last trick, we're probably just going to play another dude. Um, everyone's going to gain one life. Except Yay. For me. Here's a village ironsmith. I'll pass. We it's been ephemerated, and that's your first spell. Yay! Draw for turn! Yay! Hmm. Wow. That's a good card I drew. Good. That's all I'm saying. Everyone will remember this conversation. <laughs> Every, you at home viewing this, eating your popcorn, your phones in your left hand, right? Um, remember this moment. Um, we are going to. The thing that makes the most sense right now, in this moment, the place that we live right now, is I tap this for white, and I tap this for white, and black, 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 and we put Karmic Guide on the stack. Trigger Furja. Karmic oh, Guide doesn't resolve until the Furja triggers, so I get to see if there's anything else in here that I really want. We're gonna put this into my hand and put these into the graveyard. Remember this. 
Who's who's uh, who's Karma guy guiding out of that? Oh, it's the Solar. Praise the sun. So that happens. I get to. Uh, I think I'm gonna exile the top two cards in my library and see if I want to play them. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna play a land for a turn. Yeah, that, that's <laughs> that seems good. Uh, Adrian, I'm gonna ping I you. I thought it was three. I go to ten. Ping you to twenty-six. And then I am going to tap three in order to cast Savine's Reclamation. Wow. Yeah. I'm gonna find yeah. Altar of Dementia. Anything else? No, I can't. I can't attack, so. Cool. That's a pretty good turn. We're just gonna go equip. We're gonna pay two, equip. Yep, last one's equipped. And we're gonna swing at you. Four? Three. I take three. One, two, three. And you get three one ones? Three one ones. And now that throw is bigger. And say go. Untap. Draw for the turn. Okay, how many things can I do this turn? We can go four boating ruins. Um, which I do have to reveal this swamp so it comes into play untapped. Remember this. Remember this. Um, and then I'm going to cast... Oh, did you not cast any spells? I didn't, technically. Oh, is it nighttime? It's nighttime. It's nighttime. <laughs> night. <laughs> then I'm going to tap for two... Well, no, I'm going to tap for one, and I'm going to cast a... I don't know if I need to do this, but I'm going to cast Dark Ritual and make three black. Yeah. Then I'm going to use two of the black and put a Trespasser's Curse here. Neat. Then we're going to cast, with their last black, one, two... Three, and a Cursed Witch. I'm going to tap for two and cast a Dimir Signet. Two more and cast a Talisman of Creativity. Wow. And then I'm going to tap for one and cast a Blasphemous Act. Yep. Yep. Cool. All right. As I understand it, that's going to wipe the board. Yep. Do you want to sack the Shiny Impetus and gain a life? Um, you know, I really do. Thank you, guy. How about these? <laughs> No, they can, they can stay. For, for what it's worth, I get to sacrifice uh, these guys to my altar in order to mill myself for power. That's fine. Which is going to be seven. You mill seven, yep. And I don't know, we'll put for leave Ferja in the graveyard, I think, because I'm not casting it for fucking nine. That's fine. When you do this, this is going to leave play and come back in enchanted. It is Infectious Curse. Um, spells that you cast to target enchanted player cost one less to cast. At the beginning of enchanted player's upkeep, they lose one and I gain one. This is going on to Guy. Hey! Uh, I milled these for what it's worth. A bunch of good ones. Yep, a bunch of good ones. Anyway, is that? Or can I pass turn? I'm gonna pass turn. Untap. Oh my god. Upkeep. All right, so you're gonna lose one. Daytime. I'm gonna gain one. Yeah. And then all of that. I'm gonna draw ten cards. Sure. Cool. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Proceed. I'll draw one card. I'll play a forest. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight uh, for Wolf Caller's Howl and Breakneck Rider. Ooh, double spell. Double. And then there was one, two red. And I'm done. This is a uh, being about upkeep created X to two walls where X is the number of opponents with four more cards in hand, which I think is only gonna be one. Maybe. Hey, we're probably gonna cast a spell. Yeah. Wee. It might not be. It's a good one. We'll see. We're up to three, and I'm gonna untap and draw. Boop. All right, so here's a land. I think what we're going to do is we're going to cast Sun Titan. Oh, yes. six. Sun Titan. Yeah, you're going to end up gaining two life. Who? You. Because it enters the battlefield, right? And it's gaining another creature, which yep. is going to cause the, the nonsense, right? Going to get Angel of Vitality. If I were gain life, I gain that much life plus one instead. So we get to now shoot Adrian, taking him up to one. Gain two. Gain two. Two, yeah. I have 25 or more life, so I'm going to sacrifice Angel of Vitality to alter dimension to mill myself four. Okay. Mm -hmm. Two, a three, a four. Oh, that's I'm gonna cast Savine's Reclamation. Right. Here it is. Are no. you doing this in his upkeep? No, no, so this no. is my, my yeah, turn still. you're doing this in your turn, got it. Okay. I'm gonna get Angel of Vitality, uh, which is one Trespass Trigger. Oh, because you got the Dread Return, so you can get another one drop. Um, so what we do, actually, is we're actually going to get uh, have these enter the battlefield at the same time. Mm -hmm. Righteous Valkyrie is going to see Angel of Vitality enter the battlefield, mm -hmm. which means while you still gain the two life, mm -hmm. um, I'm going to gain four life. Sure. Because at the time, I have the nonsense, so uh, I'm going to gain two life. This is now exiled. Then we have this Dread Return. And when we sacrifice to the Dread Return, we get to put in Angel of Glory's Rise. Wow. Trigger. I gain one. Yep. You lose one. Yep. So we now get to put this in exile and these here. Zombies are exiled for what that's worth, but now I'm going to go find my humans. And one of them is Fiend Hunter. So if I lose four life there, mm -hmm. I gain you gain four. Uh, Fiend Hunter is going to enter the battlefield um, and it's going to exile Angel Glory's Rise. Now, because I have the Trespassers Curse, if I try and go off right now, I just fucking die. Um, but I get to pass the turn. I think it's untap. On tap, on tap. And on your upkeep, I do the combo. And the reason why this works is because things trigger, but his will trigger first. Then my effects trigger. 
my effect resolves first. So they'll enter the battlefield and then I do it again. Then his triggers again. We will have infinite trespassers curse triggers on the stack. On your upkeep, sacrifice fiend hunter to alter dementia to mill someone to or what? Oh, I also could have just said it in my turn because fucking sworn and Sir Conrad. Any responses to the loop I just described? Well, remember when I told you to remember that moment? Just remember that. <laughs> So, let's talk about it. Uh, so what, what, what is the important thing to say right now? This outro has put me in a really crummy situation, and I don't think Adrian could be in a different situation, because this week I'm supposed to put out a Lisa, like, deep dive video. I'm supposed to be telling you guys the, the things I've learned playing Lisa, right? Uh, there's a spoiler, okay? I'm, give, I'm, 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 I'm gonna spoil the point, okay? This uncommon angel from... Kaldheim? The K. The, that place. This uncommon white black angel. I think she's better. As a commander. Like, it's, it's, it's really, it's really, it's really hard to sell short the ability to dig three, basically. Um, so long as you, uh, play magic, <laughs> basically. Uh, going back and forth between the Lisa deck to the Furja deck to the Lisa deck really drove that home to me, you know? Uh... <laughs> kind of have plans to build, you know, a uh, optimized version of Lisa, that the way I'd want to build it. Uh, but you were in budget. You were in budget. Man. The guy was in a really rough spot, I think, most of that game. Because Tovalar came out, and then Tovalar died. And then Tovalar came out, and then Tovalar died. And it's just... I think it's... I think at one point you cast Tovalar for nine. Um, I make a comment at the end of the video. I'm not, I'm not fucking casting Furja for nine mana. And... Guy did. That guy did cast his commander for nine mana because he needs it a lot more than I did. Tovalar is a really spooky commander at, like, say, your local LGS because he suddenly turns this archetype that uh, before had no business being at an EDH table and just turns it up to a playable. Um, <laughs> the draw effect on the front side guarantees some card advantage so long as you played anything beforehand, as well as a Keswick Wolf Run on the back side, as well as just guaranteeing the transform mechanic going off in your favor. Like, Tovalar is an impressive commander, and it's very obvious that the werewolf precon that everyone wished they had is really just the standard booster pack itself. But he's ultimately still just about wanting to do combat, and the deck kind of doesn't work at its peak unless he's in play. So unlike, say, other combat decks that we have on the channel, uh, Tovalar... Tovalar has issues. Besides that, like, you know, Blind, Cheerful Tormentor, and, uh, that's Lathril. Lind, Cheerful Tormentor, and... <laughs> Lind, Cheerful Tormentor, and Lathril you know, both did what they wanted to do. Lathril probably could have won the game if that Genesis wave hit, like, anything a bit more impressive. And then, you know... I keep on hearing about how Lind has way more exciting lines that, like, Adrian keeps on discovering every day, and and even even then, the, the Lind deck actually set up the main hose against the 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 least the, the Lisa deck, the Furja deck. He set up the rule of law in blue, uh, and that just says Furja does nothing, and uh, that was sad. I I was so sad. And then he sacked it. Like, legitimately looking over that game, um, that felt like a misplay. I don't... I It might have been a political move. I think I put into my card bin two copies of Political Trickery because there's some political shenanigans that happened. But I think that was a misplay. Because that's... Being able to cast multiple spells is what sort of let me dig through my deck. This is the game I would want to point to, honestly, to sort of express, you know... I don't think Lisa is actually the commander you want to play in the deck she wants to lead, if that makes sense. Uh, first and foremost, Angel Tribal is the worst fucking thing on the planet. Just <laughs> Calvin Traeger said it first, I, I'm here to kill shambling guests, not cast angels. But besides that, like, Lisa's a very impressive uh utility piece when she's on the board and i think she's better than say cards like anna fenza the foremost is that her name the, the absent one that also has a hoser effect like that you get to break parity by being able to turn off graveyard shenanigans and i think that's worthwhile um 
I, I plan on building, for personal reasons, a optimized version of Lisa. I, at one point, had a Tim the Tevesh Zot optimized Aristocrats deck um, that I took apart because I just wanted to have access to the cards for some blood the blood blood nonsense. I think I'm going to put the, back together that deck and have Lisa be the commander because if I get to play with just all the good cards, well, I could get around the problem of Lisa not being able to draw cards. Lisa can't draw cards. Ferja can. Ferja not only can draw cards, but she can put them in the graveyard. That's that's really all I wanted to share with you right now, you know, now that you're at the end of the video. Like, besides any other particular moves, and I don't know if I mentioned in this take. Also, you know, you're at the end, you're at the end of this video. Man. You know how Adrian asked you to not forget? To not forget this conversation? They didn't forget it. Yeah, fuck you, Iden. I. The people watching this right now don't know why I'm flipping you off. They're gonna see my face in the future. Anyways, <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, I will see you next time.